so I start actually with this uh, more uh, elaboration on EPA because some of you, as you already mentioned, you've been involved there. But EPA <coughs> is mainly the instrument for the government, for the administration, for the, you know, this is the channel because they have the government, the state has made a, a, a contract with the European Union, a private sector, a private company, even researcher, it's very difficult because it's just, you know, as you would see, for example, what comes for Serbia, uh, it's, uh, you know, so EU candidates countries have all five, and, you know, here, those I mentioned before, only for the first two criteria, which is assistance for transition and institution building, comes like judicial system, human rights, it's rather political and, 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 and you know, general, <coughs> general uh, societal topics, and this other one is the cross border. We need, we need the European Union, so it's a border country or among themselves. So, regime of visa, regime of open movement, uh, the first steps. That's, um, uh, yes it is, uh, but this, this, the last three, they, you know, they are somehow without a scope. I understand that the states, Serbia in this case, well, obviously, the ministry, they don't have the, the power to, to work on the project. They probably ask someone, or university, or some association, non-governmental uh, organization, or, or someone else, in order to assist them to develop a project for them. So that's why you probably get money. You cannot apply directly to Europe, uh, to the European Commission and ask, please give us a form because we'd like to solve, I don't know, uh, border with... with uh, a lot of problems on Lina or I don't know where to, to, to Bosnia or I don't know to, to, to any somewhere else. So that's it. Now I'm coming to the most important, the core of this, which is a Horizon 2020. And I think this is a good picture because it shows the consideration that we have or we have at the, the, at the conception of this. You see, it's research, funding, innovation. Uh, it's uh, you know related to creation of uh, jobs, uh, uh, growth. Uh, it's in a particular way as well. The addresses the, the this economic crisis that uh, Europe is in. So you see the here funding, helping, you know, a lot of things. That was the basic idea. So how we do this? It's the European Union. Uh, works in so-called multi-annual financial frameworks. <clears throat> what we have, we have a certain period of seven years because five years is, is a usual planning period. Every government makes a five years plan, development plan, budgetary, etc. We do seven because we still have then two years to run because before the project starts, you may have, you know, you start in the year zero and your project is normally approved through all the procedure in the year two plus five years make seven. So we, we came to seven years planning horizon and we do it. it. And uh, in this one, uh, 2000, uh, we, we submitted to 2011 in order to start 2014. It's exactly you know, two years running and still we have some problems. So what, what, what is in this seven years financial you know, uh, uh, framework? It's, uh, are those fields, education, youth, sport, there's a certain amount of the money devoted to member states mainly uh, on, on, this, on those fields. Uh, sorry, what is it? Youth, youth uh, sport, then connecting Europe. This comes from all kinds. It's interpersonal connection, uh, knowing each other better, to transportation, to whatever it is. Cohesion, that's again, cohesion It's a equal growth or equal level of development, as I mentioned before, and you see competitive business as well, and SMEs. And this, um, you know, this measures, you see, and obviously Horizon 2020, uh, and you see that, you know, this is the uh, seven years financial program, it goes to billion of, of euros, and uh, for example, Global Europe makes 70 billion, and we are still the largest in the world, more, we do more than the United States. Uh, administration, yeah, 35,000 people working in all the, all the uh, organizations. Uh, we consume that, uh, and the security and citizenship, uh, that's as well, security support goes to visa, uh, 
all kind of regimes, uh, common warrant uh, justice and everything that goes security and citizenship. Uh, sustainable low natural resources, that's related to ecology, ecological problems, environment, climate change, uh, carbon footprints, uh, energy, things like that. And then smart and inclusive growth. You see this will take much, much money because uh, nowadays we talk about smart cities, smart energy, smart grids, everything is smart, is a kind of and both. Um, want to say, yeah, uh, a lot of information technology is related to it, and that's why it's really smart. So, coming closer, this was the last was the, the bigger picture, now we come closer to Horizon 2020. This is a Commission proposal, Commission stands for the European Commission, proposal for 80 billion euro research for seven years. I have to say that was our initial proposal, but then the member states, because of the time of crisis, they came last this year, in, in, in the spring, I believe last this year, spring, yeah, uh, sorry, 2012 in the spring, last year in the spring, they came here and said, yeah, I will reduce that by 10 billion. So we don't have any money, 70 billion, and uh, pressed on it, but then the parliament, which is a representative of the public, said, no, you will not say on research and creation of growth and job, etc., etc. You need to stick to that. You can save somewhere else. Um, so, as I mentioned before, why, why is it? Why is Horizon here? It's responding in a common crisis. People concerns about the livelihood, safety, so basically the environment that we live in, the quality of life as well, and strengthening the US global position in research, innovation, technology. Europe is behind the United States. And China is overtaken by the growth rate, which is, uh, I think, 4% of uh, brutto national income. They invest already. Europe is 2.5 in targeting. The, the objective is 3. And this should be one vehicle. Uh, uh, what, what, what is the new, what are the shifts from FP7? At this moment, as I said, for this year, the FP7 will go to end. So we don't have any chance to work. It's, it's closed, basically. So, uh, uh, Horizon 2020, because we have so many projects, you know, through, through the years we develop this activity, that activity, FP7, this and that. So we say, okay, fine, this is too much scattered, let's put everything together in one plan, comprehensive plan, and this is. So, it will bring together three separate programs, uh, initiatives. Uh, this is one, this is one, you, you have here the footnote, uh, more, more information. The other thing is, uh, until now, many years, the research people were so powerful in Commission, in Council, and Parliament, so in institutions of Europe, that they were always asked, what, what is the next step? What, what, what should we finance? How should we finance uh, research? They were so powerful. But in the time of crisis, the industry came and said, look, we are here as well. So, and, you know, we shifted our mind and said, okay, we need to go to the research, not to put that much to basic research, to research galaxies, things like that, but rather maybe support ICT, health, because the, the population is, is getting older. Uh, we will have we will have that problem. We already have, but it will, be, it will be. So we need to address this and to create jobs out of this research. So the shift towards the industry, towards the implementation, application, it's very clear, and this is one major topic. You will see the consequences later when you come to that. Um, okay, the focus on uh, societal changes, so it's health, clean energy, transport, so ecological uh, aspects, and simplifying access for all companies, universities, institutes, for all your campus and beyond. So we'd like to pull the best researchers in the world. We don't care. If someone is born in China, lives there, but is a bright mind, has a good idea to fetch him over or her over to Europe, let's study, make a PhD, like one or two of you, uh, some of you are doing, uh, and maybe stay here and uh, contribute to European research. If they don't want to anymore work here, then they may go back. But after, you know, we are finding, we're financing the stay of the research. And this as well is, is already a chance for. Uh, for you or for the future students uh, to join international exchange. But I think it's fierce competition. You have to be bright and you have you need to have 
good idea what you would like to make uh, as your PhD student, what the topic is, and then you might be fine. So I, I met in one of our projects a colleague from Sarajevo, uh, sorry, from mm -hmm. Novi Sad. Uh, she, made, she makes PhD in Prague, and they were, her university in Prague was in, in, in project with us. So she, she participated, works internationally, no problem. Um, okay, that's basically exempts this, this page. So now, now I'm coming to the shape of uh, Horizon 2020 program. So this work have uh, it has three priorities. I would say three, we say three pillars. So it means the full finance will be devoted into three yeah, pots, whatever you see, into three areas. One is still financing excellent science. Uh, I don't know if you know that uh, last year's or 2011-2012, the, the Nobel Nobel laureates for I think physics and chemistry. There was a UK, I don't know, physics, uh, Oxford, I think, uh, one Russian and one UK guy who worked on graphene. And Europe is a worldwide leader, so we still support such kind of research, which is fundamental, basic research, in order to develop technology. So it was a very practical, and now we have a, a huge amount of follow-up projects because they invented something with graphene. One example, and this is then the excellent science. Uh, the second one is industrial <coughs> leadership. So that's what I said, the shift where the industry came in, and the industry actually will have its own pillar where they will decide, they will say, we'd like to develop this kind of technology. I know, and I, I'm here basically as well, in the other countries as well, to tell you know, the, the, the chambers of commerce, those who work in the private sector, until now, they were part of the, of the, of the, of the, uh, of the FP7 uh, research, uh, but not that powerful. They, they were not those who would say, let's do this research for this technology, this and this. They were just participating in the project that we designed, and the whole idea of the program was designed by researchers. It's not bad by university professors, I mean bright guys and girls and having good uh, mind. But it's important <coughs> to have the industry industry say. I can tell you, for example, why that. We have learned something. 27 member states, they exchange and we observe it. We should observe who is doing well. I don't know if you know the story of a Finland, Nokia. Nokia was basically 50 years or 30 years ago, a wood industry. They were wood choppers and they exported the wood. And then, in a certain way, in, I don't know, in, in the 80s, they decided to go something else and they went into, into a promising uh, area at the time. They went into the uh, tires, Nokia tires. No, yeah, because for winter, special conditions, they developed it. And only recently, 15 years ago, they said, okay, let's go something else. But it's not only it's not only let's say Nokia that works on that. The whole Finnish system was based on a wise policy decision of the minister. So they were having their own five years program, and they were deciding which way to go. And that that guy, the minister, uh, was <coughs> in challenge who to appoint. They were establishing a new law, a new agency for the research called Tekesh, and he was, he was in, 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 how say, in, in challenge, whom to appoint for a manager. He had two options, a good university professor, which had a you know, good overview, but then the industry pressed to say, we would like to say as well what to do in develop. And he then finally said, okay, in order to boost economy, and to boost, to have really the benefit of that money that is put into research, uh, would like to have benefit for industry. And he decided that's the first time in the history of Finland to appoint as a manager <coughs> of a research agency, Tekesh, a guy from the industry. I think it was one of the Nokia guys, but I'm not sure. That don't take this uh, as a granted. But, you know, and that guy was a very practical guy, and he knew what to do. And the shift, and the, because of that move 15 years ago, Finland is one of the most developed 
and ICT and all high technology, etc. They have good Helsinki Technical University is one of the best technical universities in Europe. Equal, in technical terms, maybe even better than Oxford and Cambridge, that do all kind of other sciences, social and this and that, uh, language, culture, you know, all things. Uh, but, you know, th that's it. The proper political decision. That's why I think we might sometimes come to ministry as well to ask them do a good policy at the right time. Don't support all the existing structures. Don't just give the money to those who knock on the door from university or from, you know, don't do it. Make a wise long term projection and make maybe even in parliament make a, a good consolidated line that will last over the years. Not that the next government will kind of change it in five years and will, you know, will spoil everything. Uh, that, that's happened in, in Finland and this industrial leadership is a, as a kind of consequence and the, the, you know, the growth that we learned from that is a kind of, let's say, follow-up of that. Okay, social, social challenges. Obviously, the third pillar is we are facing the drastic change in our environment. The resources are scarce. The resources, you know, we don't know, 80 years, they say, gas and, 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 and uh, gasoline, or crude oil, etc. Uh, and the other things, coal, you know, might, might disappear. So we need a new ways, new, new energy time. We need, we need, to, we need to reduce the, uh, the uh, footprint, uh, CO2 footprints and the other things. And uh, as well, our society, in general, Europe is getting older. The future is in Asia. They have, they have very many young people. Europe has got 50, 60. It's in the wild. I think I have, I have, uh, I have addressed this a little bit. So it's technology, jobs, it's uh, you know talents that we draw from all the, the world, even from the United States. It doesn't want to come. Uh, and good infrastructure. This is as well important. Because, look, for example, you all, I think, you know the, the uh, CERN nuclear uh, research. I mean, this is unique infrastructure available in the world. It happens to be in Europe. It's not in the United States. It's not in Japan. We are developing at the moment for a uh, fission nuclear technology. Uh, we are developing in South of France, Calarache where the tokamaks and this, this kind of new energy uh, sources are researched. I mean, this is research that is already in place, I think, for 20 or 30 years, and will still continue 20 or 30 years before we will get. You know, this is an infrastructure at large, but every nation, every, you know, in order to be able to research, you need a, a, a equipment, uh, I don't know, all kind of you know, equipment, but not in the way that we have it here in the former Balkan world, Yugoslavia, that everyone owns that infrastructure. No, the infrastructure should be national and given to anyone who is able and willing. You know, a new type of, of let us say, research uh, is in place. So, you will have the infrastructure providers, like you have a telecom, maybe not here, Telecom, those guys who give you the wires, who give you the, the, the links, and you put on the service, you exchange, you put on servers and computers and all things on that, and the media companies that exchange. So you layer everything, and we need for a research infrastructure. This is <coughs> what we need in Europe from a European point of perspective. Uh, Germany, for example, has an ex has excellent research infrastructure. UK, uh, France as well, but you know. This should be could be shared. I mean, on, on Europe, European level. If you need a high, I don't know, uh, brain. Brain is one of the, you know, brain is not deciphered yet. So it's still a lot of work that need to be done. For that, you need a new technology. How to go in the brain? How to scan the brain? How to measure activities? We're still in the in the early stage of that. We need a huge investment. Just to be able to detect signals, non-invasive technologies, you would put some helms 
it still we can still not come to the to the to the um, uh, single neurons and how they work, etc. We still need an improvement, and this is huge and massive money that only Europe together, maybe with other world players, can put together in order to facilitate and give the platform to any researcher from where it comes to be able to hire or to participate, like CERN. CERN. You go there, I know that the uh, Czech, uh, whatever, Polish, uh, UK, Spanish, uh, people work there worldwide, Americans, Japanese, they work there and they pay the contribution to, to that. They are partners. That's basically, okay. So now we have here figures. <coughs> That's proposal, initial proposal from the Commission, which might be deduced. But you see, it gives something. This here, European Research Council, we have as well, they are doing this fundamental research. And you see, this is the individual genes. it's a certain billion is envisaged. What we think is the future and emerging technology. If we compare Europe with the United States, the United States have everything. They invented internet. They have a Microsoft as a main software. They have Google as a main, uh, Europe doesn't have anything. We only have SAP, SAP, German company, who is a provider of a company solutions uh, on ICT. Good one, worldwide one, but not in services. I mean, in, in, in services of internet services. There's, they use the internet, they provide the company uh, bills, uh, whatever, the, the company management information systems, and software for that. So we need to do furniture and emerging technologies, and the seat of that is not, it's not far away. The seat of that is in Hungary, it's in Budapest, <coughs> um, and we, we are developing it there. So ICT is one of the key technologies, brain will be the other, and still some other will come, uh, e-health and things like that. So molecular action is something which might be very interesting, this is a program for the people exchange. So PhD, you may go for exchange, you may apply, even some of them, uh, there is a modality that you can do everything. You have 40 years PhD. Study is finest totally abroad. You go, I don't know, to Chambers, uh, not Chamber, uh, what's called? Uh, Chalmers in, in Sweden, Gutenberg, it's a good university, or you go to Pisa in Italy, whatever you want to, uh, and you find there and you may apply if they professor there, or you invite some people here and make some exchange. But together with the European partners. And this is the infrastructure which I already mentioned, uh, infrastructure in, in, in this first pillar. So, priority in industrial strategy, as I said, okay, key technologies where even the competition, this is not normal, some will say, even competitors work together. We already now have the projects where the competitors, I mean, you probably know, some of you know, Siemens, ABB, Area uh, from, from, from France, uh, London Zingera, a couple of those who fiercely compete with the world market, they work together on our projects because we don't, we don't finance the, research, the, the, the development in a narrow sense. We do the research, technology, a new technology that needs to be like, like it's, let us say, we would, we would uh, fi uh, finance the laser technology, but it's already there, something which is not there. We turn those who, uh, uh, those companies that I mentioned before, they work on electric and power field, electric energy field, and they, 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 they develop a technology, better technology, how to use a type of the sea, for example. New types, improvement of a wind energy, improvement of solar energy, such kinds of improvement of networks. No, they can, they, they work together, when they finish the project, they go and they do, they do their own implementation on their own, on their own cost. But they already know what is, needs to be done, and then obviously you have various, various chances, various products, various systems that they develop, and you can choose on the free market. That's the model where the, energy, uh, where the uh, industry is supposed to work. Uh, obviously, uh, as well, industry should contribute particularly large enterprises, they should put with about 50% research projects, while small and SMEs, it's still in discussion, maybe 25%, maybe even not, zero, which I don't think is good because 
you should have an interest. For interest, you pay at least 10% or 5% contribution in research. But okay, this is another. Uh, you see a similar figure here for the similar, uh, similar 13 billion industrial. You see, these are the key technologies space, manufacturing, new and manufacturing ways, biotechnology, employer pricing, materials, nanotechnologies, ICT, uh, health as well. Then, as well as the problem for SMEs, it's the finance. So we will contribute in so-called financial schemes. We'll give a guarantee fund to some of those who will lend the money, like uh, European Investment Bank, usually. But we provide our participation and they we give you know, 7, 10, 15 percent, and they give 20, uh, 80 percent. So it's it, the schemes that are available through various financial funds, so the small and medium enterprise can come and ask for the money to develop new, I don't know, biotechnology. Uh, you, you need some equipment, lab equipment uh, for manufacturing, because that's why it's costly. Yeah. It costs a million, two million. Where do you really take it? Not from your garage. Uh, that's it. And then innovations at SME. This is as well. It's important. Uh, SMEs. Until now, we have a program for SMEs, which means university, large companies, non-government innovation, some SMEs. They develop solutions for SMEs, which they only say we would like to have this. But now that we shift and say, no, it's not that someone will develop for you, we <coughs> will have to develop to, with other SMEs together some new solutions. So it's a shift again in the mindset. Uh, that's it, roughly. Societal changes, I said already, uh, we are aging, health problems, uh, ICT problems, so called digital literacy, so everyone who will be, so let's say, uh, nowadays you have some people in the area on 70, 60 years, they don't know what is, what is a computer, they don't know how to log on, on on internet. The new generation of youth should not live like that. Everyone, even in the simple village, should be so. This is a need of societal education, etc. Et so it's a huge field where we need uh, to do uh, research. No, that's here more. To read, maybe back. Uh, this 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 structure here, you see, it's more structured because we have held democratic demographic. It's eight. Like this. It's eight billion, four billion food. You see, uh, uh, biotechnology, agriculture, forestry will come here as well. Uh, you know, source clean energy. You, I will not repeat. You see it, and you have the slides for the future use. Yeah. As well as some modalities, someone mentioned you work on VPP, etc. As well, we enforce that. We have a couple of schemes like GTE Job Technology Initiatives already running. This will continue. This will be multiplied, where the you know not single company or a couple of companies, the whole industry gathered in the European Union will be a partner to European Commission or European Union to develop uh, some partnerships. As well. We are thinking about, you know, someone's going to buy, uh, I don't know, some kind of services or medical equipment or, or medical consumers. Why do we have, on a small scale level, why can not five member states come together, say, that, that's our five years' needs. We'll make one call, well, you, we'll select two or three the best uh, breast uh, delivers, and we'll you know, the prices will drop 20, 30 percent with the savage of the public money. This is public-public. Public. We don't have still this here, public-public partnership. Like this, I, but, you know, you, you have a vortex here. So, another thing is those who work on FP7 and before, we have every program, it starts from FP4, starts actually 1 to 7, but, you know, to every last, uh, we have a simplification. We understand that we are, let us say, simply to say, European Union is a clumsy bunch of <laughs> yeah, bureaucrats. Okay, yeah. Why? Because the money is not a private money, it's a public money, it's taxpayers' money. We need to make, we are accountable to any euro, even after commerce. 
So, sometimes if it's written comma 73, we need to have 0, 0,73 money sent to those who provide the service. It's not that you would round, because if you round 100,000 of uh, bills in five years, you, you have 500,000 uh, euros which are disappeared because of rounding. Things like that. For this, for this reason, we have very administrative, um, yeah, very, yeah, okay, clumsy, I will say, large, huge administration uh, burden on, on projects. Plus, what we had, when you have a project work with us, ever since then, one comes and makes a post-project, post system post auditing. They come and to see. You, you, you send a, a, a voice, you pay the voice, but after three years they come, they want to look. For this invoice, is that what do you have you, the sheet of your worker? You know, how much work hours did you work on that? How, how, how much did you, so they, they look on, on sporadic way, they look on the, on the bills. And this is too clumsy. So we try simply to say we're trying to simplify, we've changed our rules basically, uh, in order to simplify, to make it easier for SMEs. SME cannot spend three men working one year just for administration or something like this. I mean, I was graduated. Three, three men working uh, for three years sporadically. <coughs> Simply not. They need a, a quick decision and we need to spend the money very quickly. So we, we, we tend, there is a discussion whether we would have <coughs> half a year or nine months when the, when, the, when the application is filed with us, let us say, one day, 1st of January, 1st of July, 1st of August, this, the same year, the money should be in your account, everything contract, etc. Nowadays, we are over, over a year. You apply this year, next year you will get the contract with us. Things like that. This is, this is important because uh, it uh, takes away your administration, administrative work, which makes everything here. Okay, European research area. This is here uh, mobility, infrastructures. I, I mentioned that before. Uh, strong partnership with member states. It's not only that the European Union will do that, but we'd like to see German, French, all national, in line, coherent. You can say, okay, let's have a European uh, project uh, or projects on let us say uh, e-health, electronic health, whatever new technology is needed. So why don't we gather this all together and, and make a coherent plan? I mean, if Germany or France or Italy make their own, but at least the program is coherent. So that they know they work on this, they work on this, they work on this. Uh, not that we repeat the research. That's where we lose the battle with the United States. Was there is one government that makes one public call. Uh, 55 universities apply, 15 are financed, and they exactly know, they, they do. They, this university does this program. The other one, Europe is repeating, and we're losing time. It's huge entropy and inefficiency. So another problem from the group of managers. <laughs> so, uh, strong participation of SMEs. SMEs are statistically 98% of people within the European Union works for SMEs. It's not big corporations. Only 3%, 4% work for large companies. So, the chance that a new SME will create a new job, you know, one single job, it's larger than big companies. That's, that's the rationale behind it. So. Yeah, there is another program that we, we have, I said we have many programs, COSME, which is a um, it's an uh, innovation for small and medium, as FOSME stands for small and medium enterprise. Cooperation for small and medium enterprise. It's a basic innovation program for SMEs. This should be, will stay, but will be, uh, how can I say, coordinated with Horizon 2020. It will not be part of it, will be still the same program because they want to boost this, but will be highly uh, related to. Yeah, one very important uh, feature is the following. 
obviously technology, what we normally do, it's a development technology of, um, yeah, whatever it is in practical life. Then, the people who do with social sciences, anthropologists, philologists, I don't know, they, they, they complain, they say, we don't have any place in European research, where is it? Give us something. Now, this program will give a chance for them in these, in this uh, societal aspects, because you know, uh, if you develop a new energy or power technology, sometimes it's not it's not irrelevant to the life of the people. So, a socialist, uh, societal workers <coughs> or social scientists and, and uh, I don't know, anthropologists and I don't know who else, uh, uh, environmentalists will need to talk about this. Is it safe? Is that? Is that? Is that? So we force to work on that. Uh, give them a place to work on that in order to make really Europe a good place on the world to live in. Um, yeah, okay. Widening in participation. Participation is said it's widening in two dimensions, already mentioned, towards the smaller organizations. This is one thing. Another one is across the world or the Europe. So we'd like to see some partners from other parts of the world, China, etc., based on equal bilateral uh, agreements. So if they have a chance to participate in our projects, we should have the chance to participate in any project. It runs with the United States, it runs with Australia, Canada, uh, South America, uh, I'm not sure it's only with Brazil, it's negotiating in India, it's negotiating in China. So this, this problems will Maybe not at the beginning, the later one did as well. Uh, we did so the same continuation. Uh, and you see uh, the, the problem, this may not be relevant to much to Serbia, but still, maybe one day. Uh, cohesion policy is normally given to governments. Um, I, s I used to work some projects for Germany where we are financing a roads, uh, bike roads, Kindergarten, uh, you know, touristic uh, uh, facilities, etc. Now the focus will be even in the cohesion policy, which is not horizontal; it's a separate money. This money goes to member state; they decide upon this and they distribute it. But the programs that they will do it will need to have jobs and growth, and need to have innovative. If the project will not have innovativeness, will make a control, will cut the money, take the money back. So they will find it. So in, in simple say, even if you would develop a rural area, obviously uh, it's not a priority to have a kindergarten there. It's a priority to have the industry there, who will through the tax paying develop later on where the people need the kindergarten and the roads and the infrastructure, uh, local community infrastructure. That's the modality behind it. Idea and so, so that's why we see you know you see here the differences and you see the complementaries. Uh, what needs to be done in order to coordinate? Basically, we are we understand we are losing the money, so we need to put everything together. So next steps. Um, some of them it's it's taken from 2011. We are now here. Uh, sorry, 2013. We expect this year the program to be uh, uh, to be adopted by Parliament and Council. We will have a couple of months then to start the first course, and you will be able to participate in it. So first, first, we we, we plan in February probably the first the first uh, course and first participation. How is this scene looking? Let us say. In, in Europe, in, in Brussels. <coughs> I can tell you, don't be scared. I'll try to be realistic. I'll give you a chance to see what's in it. So, chances for participation. <coughs> so, what you should observe the com competition is strong. There is not a chance that the minister will say, this should go to that company, or state secretary, I don't know who else. This should go, this money goes to that, this money goes to that. There's no distribution. It's a fierce competition because no one could decide that a certain money would go to France, a certain money would go to Spain. No. A 
competition, free competition, means you have all Europe against you. You have multinationals, big players. They do a lot, a lot of research for us. You have excellent universities, Oxford, Cambridge, Chambers, Gottingen, etc., etc. Sapienza in Rome, etc. But you have a new Novi Sad University that is, I think, in all Europe now, it is good in, 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 in agriculture. I know that uh, faculty of uh, machine building is one of very good. Faculty of electrical engineering is one of very good. This that I know, but you know here better. And those professors and then, you know, teachers and the research students, whatever, they have links. You should take advantage of that, those links and push if you want to get participation. Then you will have, you have knowledgeable end users. End users that know about technology. End users, I'm talking about Red <coughs> Cross, health, national health. <coughs> uh, those who really use the technology on a large scale, on a national scale, as a person who uses it in, in, in everyday life. Banks, I don't know, uh, Ministry of Interiors using technology to fight the, the fraud, to fight the uh, financial, uh, you know, in, in financial transactions uh, or stealing of the money from the banking system. They all use technology. This is, and we have NGOs and think tanks like Oxfam, like, you know, a couple of Greenpeace, for example, you know them. And you have, I think here, what I realized in Serbia, I met a lot of them coming to Brussels. They are very frequently there because they are already linked in the international as a consequence of the war that we had. After that, there was a lot of in, in this, uh, you know, human rights. Uh, this a lot of them coming in there and are present. So they have links and they participate. Well, that's a strong competition. And yet, you have a chance. That's good news. Good news. You have a chance. So these are common conditions that you should probably need. Ask yourself, where do you excel? What are you really good at at some point? Maybe, maybe you're not even aware of it. You are good, you have a bright idea, excellent idea. I'm quite sure that uh, some of OST gigs that you have here, it's in every nation. They work in 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 in, in the United States, in Santa Clara, in Silicon Valley, because they develop the best software for I don't know any application. You never know. You might be good uh, uh, at at a bio. Whatever bio. Yeah. Or somewhere else. Ask yourself, where you good to excel? Or industry? You have you excel in the quality, in some product that nobody can achieve. Fine. Um, the second thing is you know where the EU or the world stands on relevant topic. This is very important, and I think this is particularly the role of the university professors. The old one good foxes, I would say. They know who is doing what somewhere. And having them on board is always good and useful. If they are knowledgeable, they should have some links that you know. Why do realize sometimes that even from good universities, people don't know if they are good in the fields or you know, or a college. You may see that quite e quite easily. I'm talking about the research, uh, you know, university research. You see that quite easily in the type of the doctorate. <coughs> For example, if something new is nowhere published, you have something. Or you have a PhD saying, um, usage of this and this methodology with special concerns to Serbia. Could be with special concerns to Spain, with special concerns to Malta. These are two levels of the research. Forget about the second one, strive for the first one and try to identify. This is for university research. I mentioned the, let's say, technology research, which is another channel, but you're good. Those guys who have some acceptance in 
London, venture funds that have some links with that. They might be just before that. They may apply as well in such kind of projects. You have excellent ICT people. You know, work for, you said, some, some will work for you, some will work here in the industry, some will work around in the world. Uh, it's possible. Or you have a bright idea about the new e-health monitoring. So, a sole single person at home, without any anyone with care, during the day, you might have maybe someone who sleeps with them overnight, they don't want to go to the residence to be there. They still feel capable, but they may fall down. They may die because of that. You know, all kinds of these technologies. Or improving the, the medicals, medicaments for who knows what. Uh, yeah, I can say Alzheimer diseases or you know dementia. Dementia is a huge field. So many dementia that everyone who's good at that, fine. So I'm just quoting a couple of them. So what is important you know, is state of the art, where the world is. Because we always ask, do we get the state of the art? So in every proposal, you write where the state of the art is, so that we know that you know it. We check it with our experts. And let me see, oh, this is a good idea. Yeah, this is not none of the projects that we have. We have a database, not a project. It's addressed, it's a good idea. Find it. Um, yeah. So, you have the knowledge, so scientific publications, links, connections, inventions, industrial knowledge, industrial technology, that you have, that's always good. You need to work hard. You will not believe a university professor, I think it was Oxford, Cambridge, sent us a proposal at 2 o'clock in the morning. So, it means he worked at home, or he was probably at home, all the night, or the evening through, in order to finalize and sum up the work. That's it. That you may get later on. He didn't work for, his, for himself. No, he worked for the PhD students who were behind him. So he created in the project four or five doctorate places, which were finest, co finest for four years, which is the term of a project. So, for those who. For industry, um, I can say that those guys are very good, usually, at having links because uh, uh, typically multinationals, they have so many offices, so many companies around. And they always know they can be the best source. And if you have a good idea, you can link to them. Or the partners, maybe they are their partners. Who mentioned you export? Who mentioned you export much? I think you export much uh, somewhere in. in in the, in the world, ask your partners, if they are not your users, you cooperate with someone, to improve, I don't know, improve the possible. That's it. Um, yeah. So, you need as well, you know, those people who work on, on the market, particularly commercial companies, they know very well that you will not conquer any of your uh, clients if you don't go to client. So, if the client for you is Brussels, it's ours, come to visit us a couple of times before you even submit a proposal in order to discuss the topic, what will be, how, what do you expect. You, you can come and ask with the idea, is that a good idea? What would you think? And you, if we are, you know, we tend to be sincere, say, well, we had five similar projects. Doesn't, doesn't make any difference. Unless you tell me, where is the breakthrough? What did you do? Or do you make a step forward, not just a small step, or you know, you can do a hundred small steps and you're still five centimeters further. No, I'd like to have one, two steps further into the field so you can really uh, make improvement. And always take in account creation of new workplaces, creation of uh, revenue growth. That's very to prices. Every nation is to prices. So you, you help your own country, but you may help as well your own world to really accomplish. Okay, so for this train for these trips to Brussels and pulling back, you need to save some money. It's not that expensive anymore. You can go by a visa. So this is you know this I gave you you know criteria how the world it is. Now we come to the ways 
how do you start preparing yourself mentally, physically, and everything? So it's spot uh, steps towards. Before you say to participate, so there is the first decision. You say, okay, it's not interesting for me. I don't think our company is fine, or organization is fine to do that. We'll not do it. Fine. You close the chapter, close the book, turn another book on, and go somewhere else. But if you want to, you say, no, it's not only you, it's the whole organization, particularly private, as well the, the universities or the research institutes, like Mukhailo Pupin or I don't know who else. Uh, you, have, you need to discuss. It usually takes two months to clarify where we think we are capable, we have a people, we have knowledge, we have some money, uh, you know, in order to see, would like to, and I say, would like to, and you, you measure a little bit, assess, and you say, we will go. That's the first decision, and take some time. Then, if you do this, you go, you form and say, what is compliance between you? So you need to have some people who look on our web website and to look basically what was already financed. A little bit in history, a little bit the fields that we, we finance. Take an example, um, uh, I know, the, the forestry. Yeah. You need to say, you know, you go and see what the forestry research is, you need to go to see what the furniture industry, you need to say, uh, maybe architectural design of interiors. You have to look a little bit around. Yeah, you know better than I. Uh, you look a little bit and you see where where you might fit in because we have so many. We have sometimes thirty calls open. Call means we publish and we expect the proposals to come back. So fifty calls. Where would you exactly fit? And if you understand that, then you might need to go to those guys who manage these projects beforehand and start to look, would this idea fit into you? They said, no, better go to the other one. Look, you have as well permanent representation of Republic Serbia in Brussels. I know some of them, I contact them, I asked them to provide me the list of the best research, not people, research institutes from Serbia. I got it, but the only one from Balkan. The end of program. I requested all of them. Wanted to see who is the end That's it. So I mean, if they don't work, if they don't support you, if they don't feel, if they feel, okay, we support our government, that's all what we do, then obviously it's a little bit difficult. That's another topic, how to go across from Brussels representation or uh, mission to the, how to reach to the, you know, uh, government, government level, ministry, Chamber of Commerce and then to the Chamber of Commerce as well, whole structure, central, uh, regional, and then to the, to the industry to reach out. That, that's a specific problem, we will not discuss it here, it's a separate topic for someone else. Uh, yeah, so you need to say to the, what is compliance to you, which, which, which parts, where do you fit in? Um, yeah, as well, think about what you would like to have finance from your, for your sake. Because it's not, <coughs> it's not the right thing that you say, well, I'm from the machine building industry. We are very good at making parts, I don't know, which, which a part of the machine. Um, that's what I do. And, I, 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 and then I'd like to, I'd like to, uh, I don't know what, what, what I need to find is. I'd like to have a new machine to produce my, my product. This is not the way what we will find is. It's really a research. But if you need for your research for an app something, then you may think through the project, I may get some equipment financed for research, which will stay with me, will be co-financed. You get a co-financing mechanism from us. We'll finance maybe one third for some of the machine. But it's still better than yourself, you finance 100%. But it's not just a financing machine. You need to be part of the project that works with that machine or lab equipment or things like that. So typically, we will not finance a computer for a researcher. 
So some people come and say, okay, I have three PhD students uh, on my project, yeah, yeah, I need PCs for them. We say, sorry, this is not our business. We'll finance the research, we'll finance the work, that's it. You, university or organization or company, you provide them. You have your own costs, you know, you have your own, own structure. If you, if you have someone, a, a desk, a, a, a space, I don't know, maybe a part of lab, <coughs> and obviously a, a notebook it is a part of the standard equipment nowadays. We don't, you know, this is important to what you'd like to have fun is for your own sake, for long term, uh, let's say, uh, for long term. Um, as well, what is this? Uh, if you have some ideas, very carefully check with your partners. Carefully, I'll come, I'll take, uh, I, will, I will let you explain why carefully when I come closer. Uh, you check it, uh, if, if this might be internationally acceptable. So, as well many design participants, Start looking for partners 8 to 12 months before the call is published, so one year and a half. You know, you may take the old, the old published calls, they are all in the, in the internet. The internet site is called Cordis. If you write Cordis.eu or Cordis.eu, you will get a whole page or a lot of projects. All, you can see whoever participated in Serbia and in Sweden and in Malta even. You have all kinds of information there. You need to invest uh, maybe a, a one single person, one to two months. Not, not <coughs> every day, but you know, sporadically working on that with a focus to get information. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this is here again, you see. When you, when you start looking for partners, just tell enough to convince, sorry, there's an error, uh, to convince the others, but not tell them too much. The problem is, the best idea could be stolen, and you never know. You have someone who is better than you, putting the best consortium, better consortium than you. Old foxes, that we say, they are all the time with us. And they will go through, you will be hanged up. So it's, this is this. You say, what about thinking of that? If you really have a confidence with people, uh, they will tell you. You know, if you know, probably you will not get a project partner just like that, out of the blue sky, someone I'll ask, look, John or Francis, I thought we would go this way. What do you think? I say, yeah, I, think <coughs> I, think I would join, or yeah, I think, we'll, but we will not participate. And be a little bit cautious. You know, because what happens is that people step out the last minute because they play in two or three consortia, they're invited, and they know this player, and they say, well, I go to that consortia with my idea. Takes all the knowledge that was, that was gathered in three potential discussions, and it's, and it's a way. So be casual, cautious. I don't say that anyone is like that, but it may happen. So you protect yourself. Um, mm, yeah. What's this here? Ah, yeah, it's here. Uh, verify the right decision makers. Sometimes, you know, you talk to your colleague that you know from the other company, but he's not a decision or she's not a decision maker. He needs to approval from a higher level. So when you when, when someone says, okay, we'll go, then say, you know, who is the manager who will, who will decide that? Because my manager wants to talk to him. And the people who decide in your company, uh, they should think, yeah, that's because you know. It doesn't help you much if the decision from the top level comes 40 days before you apply because they ask you to sign. They say, We said that we we're going to this project. We're not going to this project. This is not a strategic goal. And then you, you hang out with our partner. And your consortium is incomplete. No, almost no chances that you will get a new partner within two weeks' time with all preparatory works and then papers, etc. That's, that's the problem of the international cooperation. Um, yeah. Um, before you start working on a proposal, there's a, a lot of documents need to be put together, a lot of text needs to be uh, conceived and, and you know, written. Uh, what do you do? Uh, at least with core partners, you always have four, five, six core partners that really are 100%. Then you have the others who do all kinds of internet sites and this and that, on some market research, who else? But really, those
those who are called, you need to meet and, and sign a pre-contract or a memorandum of understanding saying that if you, from this point on, when you start preparing a proposal, someone steps out, it should pay a compensation to the others. C'est la vie. I mean, this is a good, good practice. So, you see, after core publications, you have in our website a publication that you know it's going, yeah, that's exactly what we'll buy. Then the time starts. So, what we normally do, we do information days. So, for every call, you have an information day. And you come to Brussels usually, or sometimes in other places around Europe, where all those who are related have interest show up. It's as well, if you don't have a partner, you have, let's say, three, four partners, you're fixed to go there. So you go and listen there. And then you may say, there is a session, you usually say, a brokerage. We need that, that, that type of organization. And you will see how the visit cards are <laughs> distributed. Someone will take you, someone will ask you, you know, you can, exactly, we need a partner from the angle. We need a partner from this uh, particular expertise, etc. And it starts and really, you know, it's a kind of brokerage on spontaneously. You have a time and, and you do it and you find some partners who are probably missing to feel, to make a, a consortium more complete and fulfill all the requirements. Um, yeah. Uh, find the official who is in charge for proposal and presenting your project at the time when, you, when you're ready. On the info day, you can ask who will be in charge for that you will see the person is only there, or at least someone who will tell you who is it. And then, uh, maybe at the same time, or go additional and verify this idea is good for that. Because he will, be, he will, he will tell you, he's an experienced person that will let you know what to do. And give you good advice. Okay, then you start writing proposal. When you come back here, start writing proposal. Start. Make a group proposal. It's a right test. And submit proposal. Two, three days before the deadline. Don't wait on the same time. Although I can tell you, at least at the moment, I'm not sure how this will be in the present 2020. But in FP7, what we have is a so called electronic platform where you electronically submit everything. You fill on tables, you, 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 you type your text. The best way from, from the start, you start working in there. But because what? If the last day, Something goes wrong. You know, you, you're not, you didn't polish it very well. You still want to. At the time, on day X, on 17.00, computer will close everything. And what is in the system will be taken. So if you edited everything already from the beginning in the system, it's fine. Because you cannot, you know, you cannot have a good. If a chapter is missing, then sorry, it's late. But these last final improvements, if they are not there, you still have a chance to get a, a, a good evaluation of that, people understand it. And this is important. If you start, if you have everything in work, and you start the last day, uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, shuffling in, and then the computer doesn't work, and you have some problems with the with internet, and you have some problems with us, with our internet, we are as well, but the internet have some problems. And then all of them uh, uh, rush in and, and try to fill in between 3 and 5 o'clock in the afternoon, our computer gets to, uh, get congested, you, you want to get through, and you, you throw away a half, a half of a year. Not, not, I mean, a half a year of, of your, but the whole consortium has worked maybe one man year or something like that in order to submit. And then, but this is not the problem of the participant. A single participant is a problem of the coordinator. I'll, I'll give a word later on. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's it.